Hey guys, I was about to take my new Notch Pro Gear bag out of the plastic bag and I said, you know what, I better film this to see uh, uh, the first impressions of it. So, um, it's a 77 liter bag. That makes it a pretty big bag. And what I'm going to do is do a little bit of a comparison between this video and my old Metolius bag that I've been using for a few years and see if I take all my equipment that's in there, put it in here, how much space is left. So. Uh, let's get right to it. Oh, there we go. The material feels really heavy duty, and I have a feeling once I get it open, I have a feeling it's going to stand up on its own pretty good. So right off the bat, looking inside, there's a daisy chain. I'm not sure. Let's see if we can see that. Yeah, we got um, daisy chain all along the inside on the top. And uh, there aren't any battens holding it from not being squishable this way. But the stiff material and the stitching down the side with the webbing adds a lot of stability. So let's start moving all the gear over. Anyone that can ID this tree, you'll get a free, the first person that can do it gets a free uh, Tree Care LA hat. It's kind of a rare tree. Um, okay. Right off the bat, we're at about 220 feet of rope here. And let's look down inside there. There is still a ton of space inside that bag. A lot of space left, so we'll keep filling it up. Um, you can see, I'll reach my arm down there, and there's an arm's length of space inside that bag. Okay, so we'll go harness. a bag of hardware just carabiners and pulleys and things like that and then these are all my little little slings climbing slings uh, hitch cords throw the helmet on top and a friction saver that will probably go yeah there's a nice pouch right on the top here in fact good spot for this helmet. Okay. And then uh, got some pockets on the side here. Would be a good spot for a chainsaw lanyard. Side. Feel the friction saver. Oh, 
some saver over here. These guys, they won't fit down inside there, so we'll just lay them all across the top. pocket inside here and more daisy chains. I think this will fit. Oh yeah, that goes all the way down. So that guy will fit right down in there. Okay. So that is it. Holy crap, that's a big, big bag. Um, let's look at some of the features we'll get. We'll get close, zoomed in here. So, on right about there, on the sides, there's some really good handles to throw this thing around. Uh, I really like that. Daisy chains everywhere. The shoulder straps, it's kind of neat. There's no buckles down here, it's girth hitched on. Um, and then there are buckles at the top. Uses those uh, rectangular buckles so you could take it out if you want. Um, er, well, take, trust, trust me, you could take it out if you want. And it doesn't have uh, like a backpacking style suspension system up here. Um, it is just a straight connection uh, right across the your shoulder blades there. Um, so good foam across the back. And let's see, what else, what else? We'll go around the front. These pockets, I just have that saw lanyard in there, but there's room for a lot of stuff on the side. Um, and then the pouch where I put in the my throw line cube, there's a lot of room in there. I can fit a lot of extra stuff. And we got daisy chains on the back, so that's pretty cool. The material on, well, everything on this side is the same thing. Let's look at the bottom. Ooh, ah. Okay, okay, so it's like a, uh, not a tarp material, it's not Cordura. I don't know what this is, but it's like a plastic material with some teeth on it. You can hear that compared to the PVC style um, that most of the bag is made out of. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And then they got webbing along the edge here, which should offer some chafe protection. And if we look inside this bag, now that I have it filled up, let's see. We'll get everything settled into the bottom. We'll open it up again. And these buckles are good, good metal buckles. They just slide right on. I'm not quite sure what that extra little tooth there is for. Um, but I still have room for a lot of stuff in here. Uh, we could angle it forward, and you can see there's a lot of capacity left inside there. Um, and uh, again, I'll, I'll stick my arm in there, and now we're up to about here. So that's got to be a foot, foot and a half of extra space. Uh, and the, even the lid where my helmet is, I think, hold on one second. Just as an experiment. Easily put three helmets in here and in fact, oh, this one won't. Four helmets inside the, the lid of this bag. That's a ton of space inside here. Uh, kind of crazy if you think about it. So, you know, honestly, I think this bag is a little too big for me. But um, but I know a lot a lot of people carry a lot more gear than I carry. 
So uh, this bag is going to make a lot of people really happy. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. If you have any questions about it, if you want to see any uh, zoom ins on certain parts of it, I'm happy to uh, shoot those for you guys and and put them up here so everyone can see it. Um, but it's, overall, it's a good bag. Uh, it seems to be well built, and now it's just a matter of seeing how long it'll last.